The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make them feel a certain way Hoping that the switch Fisk you, Nick Soldier Fisk you, Nick Soldier What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. You know what? I'm not going to bed. I'm not going to bed. I can't sleep. I can't fucking sleep. Because Kenny Galladay tanking games. He tanking games. Those drops were intentional. I got to get this off my chest. I was going to go to sleep, wake up, and record these videos. But you know what? I, I got to say this. I'm not going to go to sleep until I get this off my chest. He's tanking. Those drops were intentional. $72 million man ain't dropping balls like that. That You, you can't tell me that Kenny Galladay didn't do that as a fuck you to Dable. Those are fuck you drops. Those are fuck you drops. I, I I don't give a damn what anybody says. I think he dropped those on purpose. Because I, you see D. Lamb on fourth down caught the same ball that Galladay dropped on that first drive. Remember our first drive, we was in the red zone, and um we did a play action pass to Galladay, and Galladay dropped it wide open curl route, the same route that CD caught for five yards. Galladay dropped for like eight, nine yards, whatever. And then that ball he dropped in the fourth quarter, like, bro, you caught the ball. It's just, he caught the ball and said, oops, I wasn't supposed to catch it, and then he dropped it. He caught the ball, started running, and then dropped it. Miss me, man. Miss me. He's got to go. He's got to go. You can't bring that back into the locker room. Dang, how was Daniel Jones supposed to trust him? How is Dave supposed to trust him? He doesn't give a shit, bro. He don't give a damn. Those are fuck you drops. Period. Period. <sighs> and then a Shepherd is done. I just that might be the last play we ever see from Shepherd. God bless him. Shep, we love you, man. You've done the best you can to help this team. Thank you. <clears throat> You've been playing above your head the first two weeks of the season. But Shep, this is what you do, bro. Every year you get hurt. This is just what you do. And I'm, I don't know a nice way to say it because I know this is season ending. But damn, Shep, every year you get hurt. Every year, Shep get hurt. Ingram used to do, to do the same shit. And now I just, I'm looking at Daniel Jones. I don't know what the hell is going on with Tony. Galladay is whatever. Send him home. Shep is out for the year. Richie James is Richie James. And David Sills, damn it, this is why Joe Judge never played him. This is why Joe Judge never let him on the field. I Shane got to fix it. These wide receivers are going to ruin a good team. They're going to ruin our chances to win this year. The Giants have an easy enough schedule and a good enough team to hang and compete with anybody. But we can't do that if we have ineptitude, filth, garbage, flat out disgusting shit at wide receiver. We can't compete. And I said it a few minutes ago when I recorded my reaction. It's not just hurting Danny. Everybody equates these wide receivers to, oh my goodness, how can Daniel Jones prosper? How can Daniel Jones, how can we evaluate Daniel Jones and no receivers? You're right. But it fucks with Saquon too, because now Saquon got to run against loaded boxes and we don't have the offensive line good enough to run against loaded boxes. We don't got the blocking for that. And I'm just looking at it just like it's it's ruining Daniel Jones. It's ruining Saquon Barkley because they're playing for their livelihood right now. Daniel Jones doesn't have a contract next year. Saquon Barkley does not have a contract next year. Do y'all understand that Saquon and Daniel Jones will not be Giants after week 18? They're going. Saquon is playing on a fifth-year contract. He don't got another. He don't got no more years on his deal. Daniel Jones, they didn't pick up the fifth year option. He has no more years on his deal. 
Giants fans, y'all run your mouth and you bitch and you complain and you bitch about Daniel Jones. Well, how many other quarterbacks will keep us competitive with no wide receivers and no offensive line? I'll wait. I'll wait. How many quarterbacks you know can play on this Giants team and keep us competitive week in and week out? And when it comes to Saquon Barkley, y'all just think running backs grow on trees, huh? Y'all just think running backs grow on trees. All this because we ain't got no damn receivers. I, it, it's fucking get him. Get him and makes me sick. Get him and trades prime OBJ and replaces him with the corpse of Golden Tate and this bum Kenny Galladay. I hate Dave Gettleman. It's his fault. This is all Gettleman's fault, bro. Dude, Trey's prime OBJ and literally replaced him with the corpse of Golden Tate in this bum Galladay. And this dude sells out here falling down and shit. And you know, Peyton Man has said it, right? Peyton Man was like, damn, he, they can't get open. Peyton was like, they can't get separation. Peyton said, it's taking forever for these guys to get open. If you go back and watch the broadcast on the last, on the two-minute drive, that Daniel Jones got the ball back, this is like a play before the interception. Peyton Man is like, they, they're taking forever to get open. And Eli said, yeah, Peyton, they played man all night long. They can't get open. It's like unbelievable. And, and it's just, it's, this is sad, man. This is sad. Daniel Jones is playing his ass off. Daniel Jones is playing, and, and this is what amazes me with Daniel Jones is he don't curse these bum ass dudes out. He ain't thrown nothing. He takes all the shots and the arrows in the post game, and I just sit back and I'm like, this kid's gonna blow. And I'm not talking. I'm not talking performance. I'm talking yo. He's gonna blow. If they keep failing him, dropping balls, not getting open, offensive line, he's going to pull a Tom Brady. You can feel it. I, you can look at Daniel Jones like the eyes don't lie. A pitch is worth a thousand words. Daniel Jones looked like he wanted to go full-blown Terrell Owens and Tony Brown on the sideline. He looked like he's ready to go Tom Brady because he's fed up. And you look at Daniel Jones and you just got to feel bad for him because he has not had help. None. No help, man. Just Joe Shane's got to fix this, fellas. Joe Shane got to fix this. I don't want to hear free agency. I don't want to hear that shit, man. He's got to fix this now. The Giants defense is good enough to win this division. Daniel Jones and Saquon are playing for their livelihood. Go get some wide receivers that can make this team better. I don't want to get, I don't give a damn about the cat. <clears throat> I don't give a damn about March. I give a damn about now. Figure it out, Joe. Joe got to figure it out. I'm not trying to sit here for the rest of the season and watch Daniel Jones throw the fucking Sills and Richie James. <sighs> I don't know, man. I, 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 I just, this, this is bad, man. This is bad. I, I, I don't see how you let Daniel Jones walk out the door. At, 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 at this point, you give Saquon a contract and you franchise tag Danny. I don't see what Joe Shane can do. Well, I mean, what, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? I, 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 what the fuck? And you know, and here's another thing too. Not, this is why we didn't cross the fifty when Daniel Jones got hurt. Y'all see it, right? You see that? You, you see it, right? Daniel, I don't know what it is about. Just watching Daniel Jones is like, I, it's just. I don't know. I, I, it's just, it's, I don't, it's, it's just weird. What amazes me about Daniel Jones is he, uh, he continues to not look like a bum. What I mean by that is like all the filth he has around him, the offensive line, the wide receivers, 
he still manages to make us look like a competent offense. As bad as we look, we're always competitive with him. It just makes you wonder, Giants fans, what would happen if Daniel Jones had Stephon Diggs? What would happen if Daniel Jones, God forbid, had Amron St. Brown out there? Or if he had a Cooper Cup or something? I'm just like, the plays that this kid would make, man, because this is a lot of quarterbacks would throw interceptions. They would put the team in bad spots. Daniel Jones finds a way to keep his competitive with nothing around him. And I just wonder what he would look like with help. God forbid we let him walk out the door and he ended up in New Orleans. Could you imagine Daniel Jones in New Orleans right now? <sighs> I'm out of here, man. I'm going to bed now. I, I, I'm going to bed. That's it. That's all. This video will be up tomorrow. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.